Welcome to Celebrity Crafts with Mae McLean. Hello, welcome once again to Celebrity Crafts. I'm Mae McLean and today we have a very famous actor, Barry Morse, who is going to learn how to plan a rug and a fascinating way how to hook a rug and I will show how to finish a rug. Now, we will be back in a very short while. Hire the mentally handicapped. Slow starters can be deceiving. Today we have with us Barry Morse, who is a very famous Canadian TV actor. I'm sure many of you will recognize him. He has been on the London stage on the New York stage, and he has also done considerable work and been one of the first performers on Canadian television, as well as Shakespeare and numerous other... But I've uh, never done anything half so difficult as this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's tell. fascinating, as a matter of fact. No, it isn't. I can, I can see already that, I mean, I, I, your viewers no doubt would be interested to know that among all my other distinctions, I know absolutely nothing, and this is absolutely true, uh, of how to do anything with my hands, uh, except uh, a few things that aren't repeatable. Uh, <laughs> but uh, as far as this whole world is concerned, I'm totally dumb. And uh, to add to I all the problems, I've got to tell you, I'm left-handed. Well, you're there's not a lot of people left-handed. Well, there you are. They, they'll be paying attention. But well, in, in the bad old days when I was at school in England, about uh, 1066 this was, uh, <laughs> if you were left-handed, they used to beat you. To try and make oh, you yes. write with your right yes, hand. Yes, I, I. So I, the result I, is, I, I write with both hands badly, <laughs> <laughs> and I could do virtually nothing else at all. So I start with a really clean sheet. Uh, I've started with a good many clean sheets in my time. <laughs> well, that, you know, you've been lucky there. Um, I, I suggested rug hooking to you, and you told me that it was one thing that you had considered. Quite miraculous. Doing yeah. with your wife as it's, a project. It's the one thing in the whole wide world of this. In, in, uh, unending range of things which my wife and I had actually discussed doing. Discussed now, we've never it. done anything like this before and uh, uh, we have a house in Spain and uh, we've had many homes, my wife and I, we're coming up to our 40th wedding anniversary this year well, which is some kind of rather a record yes, and we've moved, my <laughs> wife reckons, we've moved about as many times as we've been married years. Really? And we've had homes all over the world but uh, these last five or six years We've had an old farmhouse in Spain, which we've gradually renovated uh, to be, we hope, our kind of, well, I won't say retirement um, home, no, but, but when, uh, when I'm not rushing and tearing about and enriching the airlines as much as I do at the moment. <laughs> and in this old farmhouse, there are, is a, in the main room, there's a very high beamed ceiling. Yes. And the result is that the ceiling at some points is about 14 feet high, and the sound echoes as if you were in a cathedral. So if you have a few guests, the, the noise gets you really get, quite heavy. It comes back at you. Uh, so I've it? been saying to Sydney, my wife's name's Sydney, by the way, don't oh, be alarmed, she's no. a girl. <laughs> um, uh, I've been saying to Sydney for ages, we ought to really do something by way of putting a hanging on that wall. And that, she said, is this is the kind of thing. Yes, exactly. And lo and behold, just today, you said that you were going to try and teach me to do this. Yes. I say try because... <laughs> <laughs> but you'll find this very fascinating because they have simplified the whole thing. No longer do you have to have the whole, you can if you want to, of course, uh, make the whole thing in one uh -huh. project. You don't have to have seas and seas of canvas. No, as you can see, you. Uh, now the idea is to have this as a, a sort of... So you've got me hooked already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to have a, a small portable uh -huh. kit that you can take. Now, you spent a lot of time on the airlines, you said. I'm sure you can do an awful lot while you were home. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Great, sit there in the cabin there. Yes. Yeah, the first of all, before you come to that, you have to plan. Oh, like everything. Of course uh -huh. you do. Of course uh -huh. you do. And they I wouldn't have those lovely grandchildren if you we see, hadn't planned. <laughs> there, there is this lovely book, though, which they have put out on the Latch Hook program. 
paint perfectly. This, is called, this process is called latch hook. Latch hook. This and is that's a latch this thing. hook, yes. But, and it's called latch hook, I guess, because yes, it's a hook with a kind of a latch on it. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like a learned step number one. First right? of all, we cut out these uh, individual little rugs. You see, uh -huh. we're, we're doing this one particularly today. So we uh, start cutting it out. And as it's very simple, they say cut here. And um, each of these represents one of these squares. squares. Uh -huh. Now, you can readily see that there are many ways of putting this together. Yeah, it's rather like uh, floor tiles or floor wall tiles. Exactly, tiles. You can exactly. jiggle them around all sorts of ways. You can make it to any specifications. You can uh, do a runner for a hall. Uh, you can do a whole room if you wish. Yeah, yeah. Just continually add it. To it, and see. these are kind of conventional ge geometrical patterns, but patterns. you can do things. I saw on the book there, you could do marvelous kind of pictorial things. Well, yes. And get carried away definitely. and do the Mona Lisa or something. Yeah. Well, some of them are uh, uh, canvases yeah. that do have a specific design on them. and. Uh, uh, or you could even draw your own, I guess, if you get oh, really well. Oh, yes, wild. definitely, if, if you have a particular theme and everything. So here we are. Now, it is possible, you see, to put them together in this arrangement. Uh -huh. Now, you can work on some over there if you wish. Yes. So you can now, have... we can have them like this. I'm just going to be ornery and put mine the other way around. Well, see? you can see that there's... Because I'm a separate-minded kind of fella. Uh, let's see, what would that do? We did something like that. No, we have to put that to the outside too. That would be rather nice. That it? would be. See, now that's, that's the, the totally kind of opposite. Reverse there. of of what you've got. Yes, but here we saw it as a repeat here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Was yes. the two coming together so that's here? That pattern repeated. No, no. It, it would be if if you, it, if you laid them out. But that's that way around, isn't it? Is it like that? With like things that, on that, the outside. Uh huh. Like that, and then we could wow, add that to it. Rather like this, couldn't we? And then we could uh, yeah. sort of go on, if I can get it like this. Uh, like so this. you can have all kinds of fun arguing There's before you start about yes. what the arrangement's going to be. The, the plan, and then once you've got the plan, yeah. stick it down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's my advice. Yes, because otherwise, uh, otherwise could, um, there's going to be a thing. Start out and turn it all around the wrong way right. like that. Yeah. Now, the reason behind this thinking is, with the plan, that you must hook the one way. All the squares must be hooked the one way because there is a certain pile. Ah, yes, and depending on the way in which the the, the loops are put in, that's right. The that's pile exactly. will lie that that's way. That's why we plan. Yes, yeah, rather like cutting a, a lady's velvet dress, where you have to have the pile all exactly. sort of going. I remember that because, mm -hmm. you know, when I was a youngster, when my wife and I were first married, mm -hmm. almost forty years ago, uh, in those days, actresses in repertory theatres in England, which is where we were working when we were kids, had to supply all their own clothes. And we used to do a new play every week. And so a girl who was, you know, wanting to wear elegant clothes, clothes. on the stage couldn't possibly afford oh. to buy <laughs> the number of clothes that she needed. So uh, young actresses in those days, and my wife among them, used to make most of their own clothes. Is that right? And so my, one of my earliest memories of married life uh, is crawling around the floor in the digs, cutting out things for Sydney to wear. And I'm a very good cutter outer. I remember I've forgotten that. I haven't done it for years. And the result was, of course, that my wife taught my daughter uh, to do all those dressmaking and ta tailoring skills. And she uh -huh. makes everything for herself and her husband and their babies and everything. And uh, so it, uh, you know, it, uh, it runs in our family pretty well. Wow. Uh, we have a, a home sewing show. Perhaps we should look in on that sometime. All right. <laughs> remember that. Well, we should get along, I think, and show you exactly how to, once you've decided, the way you're going to hook the rag, yeah. how to hook it. Right. Uh, there's a play on words sometimes on this. Yes, you, you, I know. You have to be very <laughs> careful with that. Yes, I may finish up being the happy hooker. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> now, uh, first of all, I would like to say that this canvas is not like, perhaps you haven't had the experience, but I have, because I've been in craft work for a number of years, and yeah. it used to be extremely harsh, very rough, and abrasive on the hands. Yes, I can remember seeing people doing this, and uh, uh, I remember my sister-in-law one time doing yeah. this, and she actually used to wear uh, cotton gloves Did uh, really? to do it, because she to took great part. care of her hands, and she, she used to say that it was very rough. 
But this is very soft, isn't it? Uh, it's a uh, hundred percent polyester now. Polyester. So and and also the rag yarn is a hundred percent polyester. Uh -huh. So virtually you could what, toss it in the washing machine uh -huh. and dry it. Oh, that's, that's a big so, class, isn't it? it? Yeah. Because if you have something this, elaborate like this, it's, uh, and you've got to confront it with the problem of cleaning it, it be a that, quite that, sizable thing. Exactly, but yeah. you never really go through the, the, the washing machine. Yes, Good. definitely. Now, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, rag yarn comes already pre-packaged and pre-cut, and there's 302 piece, 320 pieces oh, yeah. in every piece of rag package. 320 pieces. 320 pieces. pieces. Oh, I can remember the and days when you used... It comes in a glorious array of colours. You used to see people winding it around a stick and then cutting it all, didn't you? you oh, know, yes, I remember. It made that yes, easier, you yes. see, like First you else. had to wind it from yes, the hank. That's right. Then yeah. you had to wind it around the thing. And, and then, then a very sharp the knife all the way yeah. along. Yes. But it's then already they, cut Then they now. introduced a little gadget that you put it in and wound it around. And you kept winding and winding it's and winding. Right. And then it came off. But now they've taken all the work out of it. It's already here. Yeah. Actually, it comes in two sizes. It comes in the regular and it also comes in the shag. So you can also... Um, get a very sculptured look. Uh, oh, I see. By doing some in the some shorter in the yarn shorter and some of the longer. longer so it would have see. a kind of a, uh, uh, an embossed uh, outline to yes, it. Yes. That would be beautiful, be wouldn't it? Yeah. My it's Lord, really yes. lovely. Isn't it? Extraordinary. Now, this is the standard length, this one. That's the standard length, yes. I think now that we are having to break for a commercial, and when we come back, I will All right, I'll get explain my hook how to use the hook and how to make the knot. Can't wait to be hooked. <laughs> Minority groups are not always ethnic. Support the mentally handicapped. As I uh, spoke to you just recently, we are talking about rags, rag hooking, and how to make rags. And now I'm going to show my guest Barry Morse, how to actually work the hooking uh, technique. Um, as you can see, I'm using a latchet hook rug, and the reason it's called a latchet is because it does have this little uh, latchet here that works for you as you make the hook. I explained that the pieces were pre-cut. We take one piece and we fold it in half. You Take a piece and fold it in half, half. right okay. like that. Because mm -hmm. you have to get it pretty accurately in yes. half, otherwise all the piles are That's right. Them, right? You, it, it makes yeah. a difference to look the at this finished I'm it. <laughs> effect. <laughs> yeah, but I can see so the point of that, yeah. Fold it in half and hold right. it. Hold it like that with a like loop that. out, like that. Yeah. That's yeah. it. I'm doing okay. it all backwards. You're left -handed. So that but we have lots of uh, <laughs> sure people out there that are... Sure, left-handed people. All the best people are left-handed, right? Right, yes. Okay. We place it inside the hook, inside the, you're getting me confused now, yeah. inside the, um, yeah, right. insert it into the canvas. Into the canvas, like Under yay. one of those Under there, bars. yeah. Yes, okay. With the latchet all the way back. Yeah. Push it right through. Right, yeah. The latchet is open. The latchet is open. You place that around the hook. Put the hook mm -hmm. inside that loop there, yeah. yes. Draw it back. Draw it back. And the so piece of the rug canvas works for you. We'll and close, close the latchet, the latchet automatically. Yes. This is science wonderful. Look at that. Brings yep. it right through. All the way through. Yeah. Just yep. bring it through a little bit. Yeah. Right. Then push it. Lift push it, it up a little bit. Back. Push it forward. But forward again. So the latchet opens again. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And as you pull it back. You pull it back. You pass it around. Pull it. But you put it inside the latchet, right? Yeah. And pull the hook right through underneath the doink. What I do? What I'm happened? What a dumbo. Look at that. <laughs> I let go of it. Wait a minute. Never mind. I'll try again. <laughs> try again. You have a, have a very strong tongue for this, obviously. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it waggles around all the time. Don't bite your tongue while you're <laughs> no. doing it. Now, push the hook through. Insert the hook yeah. under one of those bars. Yep. Right the way through. Right the way through. With the latchet open. Latchet open. Hold the loop. Loop over. Over the hook. Yeah. Draw the hook back so that so the, the latchet, latchet closes. closes. Yeah, right. Lift it up just slightly. Lift it up so the latchet now opens again. Push it forward and forward. the latchet will open. Open, yeah. As you draw it back, put the, the pieces the ends into the hook. Into the hook, right. 
And the latchet will close. Yeah. And the latchet closes, and you pull the whole thing back, and it's in. <laughs> wow! How about that? Second very try. Very good. <laughs> now that's marvelous. Look at that. The, now, it should, do you need to pull it very tight? I always give it an extra little tug. With your fingers, yes. after you've got it in, yes. give mm -hmm. it another little. Nick, I like just that. give it a little tug, so that it um, sort of. And it makes it good and solid. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The point of that. Yeah. They pull. Yeah. They pull them all up to the uh, same sort of uh, level. Yes, of course. That's important that you have the same sort of tension on tension, each one. Tension. That's right. Because otherwise, so the I just thing is going to be. You really can get wrong. a sort of rhythm going with this, you know. Oh, not a and rhythm like that. Listen, steady. That'll be, <laughs> next, that'll be next year. <laughs> oh, I haven't folded it in half first. Fold you should actually half. fold the thing first. Fold, fold it the, in half the first. Thread first. Yes, right. It comes quite. Pull it in. Pull it back. Push it back again. I'm getting a rhythm. Oh, May, look, look, I think I've got it. No, oh, you dumb clown. You sound like Pygmalion. I <laughs> think I've got it. <laughs> I, get, I get carried away. Like everything else, I try and do it, well, almost everything well, else. I try and do it too quickly. And let's, um, for the sake of the viewers back home, let's go through it once yeah, more. Yeah, right. All right. Steady now. Insert the hook right. under the bar of the, of the canvas. With the hook uppermost. The hook uppermost, open. right. Push it right through yep. until it's past the latchet. Got it. Put the loop over, over. the hook. The latchet will close. close, the bar makes the it latchet. close. Back. Back, pull it through, yep. up just slightly, the latchet will up open. Up again, the latchet will open all the way through, put the ends over. As you draw it back, As put you draw the it back. ends into the yeah. loop, the latchet will close, close and, and it you comes pull right it through. through. And I've done it again. Good. That's the second time this I year. Give it a tug. <laughs> <laughs> give it another tug on the end, all right. Hey, that is fascinating. That is fascinating. Do you know, honestly, this is a very moving moment in my life because <laughs> oh my here I've lived to the ripe old age of 94 <laughs> and I've never successfully managed to do anything with my hands except wave them around when I talk. A lot. Yes, well. Because if you're in our trade, which I, is what I, I always call our trade, pulling faces for a living, you know, you do get to be very kind of, well, useless with your hands. Oh, no, but you and can have gestures with your hands. Well, you can, yes, of course, I of do course, that all the time. Fine. But uh, it's extraordinary how unaware you are of what your fingers yes. can do until you actually you start, start to move them the, around. Exactly. And I, I've always thought I was a terrible old klutz and that I would never be able to do this in, in a lifetime. You'll but find this fascinating. It's uh, magic, magic, this lady. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I've done that twice in a row. I wouldn't have thought I could do it twice in a lifetime. <laughs> well, as you can see, the... Um, piece of canvas is stamped, so you'll have no problem as to where your colours ah, go. So that design that there the end, follows the outline mm -hmm. of that pattern that we looked at at exactly. the beginning on the exactly. card there. Which I hit which under we've here. we've hidden somewhere. <laughs> Don't despair. There it is. There, See, good. There is the there, fella. There, there it is. And it, the canvas is coloured. The canvas is coloured and clued into this. Now, you don't have to use these colours. There are other alternatives. Sure, you, you could use, combine uh, those same colours in a different uh, in a different way, even uh, within the same design. Yes, you, you but you could to. use blues. You mm, could use mm. greens, um, along it's, with it's, the browns it's and the interesting that you should be using these particular colours because, of course, in an old farmhouse, which is what ours mm -hmm. is, these sort of earth colours work very well because there's very old wood and the mm -hmm. beams and all of that yes. stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that's particularly a right kind of combination of, of uh, colours. Colours. Uh, this particular design, in passing, I would like to mention is, is based on the old log cabin design of quilts. And oh. if you have an uh, uh, old rustic home like you have, you may have quilts that are in the log cabin ah, yeah. uh, design. All made up out of pieces. Yes, yeah, so yeah. that this fits in with that kind of decor. Yes. All made up out of scraps. And this, Kinda of like course, me. is like yeah. an Anzac uh, type of Indian design. Yes, yes. Same as this one here. And, of course, the, uh, the, the complicated, the degree of complication of the design, I, I suppose, to some extent, affects how long it's going to take you. If you're going to do Not something with a very really. elaborate pattern, oh, uh, it'll, yes. take, it'll take a good well, deal longer. It's, it's all there pre-stamped, and you just work along, and you yeah. pick up And the I guess, colors. like most things, I mean, uh, the more you do of it, the, the more easier the it's going to get. get I can always remember, I expect most, <laughs> most people can, well, the thing I always think of in this respect is the very first day that my mother made me tie my own shoelaces. And I suppose I was three or four or something, and it seemed to me that I took the whole morning to do this. <laughs> and I said, oh, I'm so sorry about it. Uh, 
Well, now one does that kind of thing. Thing automatically. Just by breathing. Yes, you and do it without uh, thinking. So don't I guess you? the encouraging thing to remember about this is that this time next year I shall be chatting away and going. Well, well I, I, I worked that. television and do it, and, and uh, do people really? wonder how I can do it, but I do. But and I, of course, I've just realised another thing about this particular <coughs> setup of doing the thing in separate sections is that you can. I mean, if my wife and I <coughs> are there, uh, we can each be working on one se section of it because they're exactly. The same, each one is exactly <coughs> the same. Yeah. And you could have all members of the family and, if the and get children it done are around, in double we can quick get them time. Out. And if we have any intelligent friends, I think we have some intelligent friends, we could get them to <laughs> have a go as well. You could, oh, we could wrap it all uh, up. Before time. we go, I must uh, um, tell you how to finish the rug. Oh, yeah. And this is by over sewing it, the two last pieces here. Oh, that looks easy. And right? when we yeah. come back after the commercial, I'll explain this a little more in detail. Good. We just hold the canvas here and the last two we're using the craft yarn of the uh, That's somewhat heavier. Heavier somewhat thicker, yarn, isn't it? And yeah. A great big yeah. fat needle like this. We sew it over just a sort of a whip stitch. Makes like a half hitch. Yes. That's it. Well that looks easy after all we've just been doing. Fine. So it comes together. Oh, we're at the yes. We've joined the two pieces together. Join the two pieces together, yeah. and then I'll show you how to finish it off with binding after the commercial. Nice. Support the mentally handicapped. And the final operation, when you have your um, rug finished, Mm -hmm. so all the, the size, sections finished, yeah. all the sections finished and all sewn together, you then have to put the binding around the uh -huh. uh, edge. Now, this would, of course, have to be trimmed off to about here yeah. and uh, sewn in place very lightly. And I recommend this um, Coates quilting thread. It's extra strong oh, yeah. and it's quite uh, good for so this type of thing. It's going to have to take quite a lot of tension, isn't it? Yeah, well, it, it's going to take a lot of wear and, and yeah. this is strong and uh, it's of the same type of material. Uh -huh. Now, we place this uh, along the edge like this and we will come along and it's just done on a whip stitch along here with this thread and then we hem it down here. Of course, when we come to the corners, we will have this trimmed off here, if I can just trim it off and show you how it would come. This would be trimmed back to there. So there's about an inch left to turn yes, over. Yes, what, whatever yeah. one has. We've, to my other corner, we fold it back and then we bring this one over to here yeah. and the same over to here. Right. And that is a mitered corner. You see? That makes now the same way. would happen with the binding. You would bring it around and then you would fold, fold it, it down there yeah. and bring it over to here uh -huh. and then over to there and that makes a very neat mitered corner and of course hemmed all the way round. If you wish you can then uh, put a back into the entire uh -huh. one. Uh, there is some type of uh, spray that uh, makes it non-slip. So it won't skid about on the floor. But, uh, it's a very strong edge if you want to put loops on to hang uh -huh. it onto the wall. Oh. Very good. Thank it's you for being on my show. It's been most delightful. Bless you, May. I've enjoyed having you, and I hope that you will come back and show me what you have finished someday. <laughs> good. Happy hooking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.